So right over the Yukon campus here. I just got an update from the weather service there. Uh, and we uh, an extension on the tornado warning yep. uh, into Wyndham County now. So that warning goes until 615 uh, now. So uh, Wyndham County is under this tornado warning as well as Tallinn County. So let's take a closer look here at where we're going next. So the rotation is back along 32 in Coventry. There's the river. There's 32. There's 195 heading north out of Yukon. Uh, and we'll take a closer look in stores here because stores you're up next. So there's uh, Horse Barn Hill. You can get your ice cream there at the Dairy Barn. Uh, uh, Hilltop uh, up over here just off 195 to the west. And there's North Eagleville Road right over campus. Gamble's right here. Uh, you're next for this storm and some strong gusty winds. Certainly a possibility as the storm moves in and the potentials there for a tornado. I still see some rotation coming out of Coventry right now. Uh, this is going to be over Yukon shortly. Let's zoom in a little bit closer here. And Ryan, we are starting to get some reports of damage. Uh, Enfield now has over 500 customers without power. Okay, so and that was the, the storm that at first was you know, sort of developed right over the Connecticut River um, to the west of it near the airport up towards Suffield has since come east uh, and now it's over Tolland County. So I'm going to zoom back out there. There's a the rotation over Marrow right over Coventry uh, heading across 44. This is now just about in Mansfield, uh, so the town of Mansfield includes stores. So stores is where Yukon is, uh, but you've got to be uh, concerned here right over 32 and 195, possible tornado moving east toward the Yukon campus at stores. Let's zoom things out a little bit for you, and I want to show you where we have that tornado warning in effect. The tornado warning now does include Willimantic and includes Scotland up toward Hampton, uh, and then back the southern part of Ashford now under that tornado warning for that. That's the little spin. That's the rotation right there over 44. And we are getting some reports uh, from the storm that, that we did have some decent sized hail, hail to the size of a quarter. Fairly common occurrence in the Midwest, in the Plains, fairly unusual occurrence here in Connecticut. It's hard to get hail that big, but we managed to do it today with this thunderstorm that developed. And storms that spin, storms that are supercell storms that spin around, you wind up getting extra lift in the atmosphere so it can support the weight of these hailstones. You get the ice up in the clouds, and the stronger the storm spins, the stronger the updraft is, and you're able to get those hailstones uh, to uh, hold together a little bit longer and grow bigger and bigger. So now that we've got Wyndham County in the tornado warning, I'm going to time it out for you here. There is some rotation, possible tornado. I'm going to say it's a relatively low threat of a tornado, but there definitely is a chance for a tornado. And there's the timing uh, of the storm as it moves on through. And you can see in Newington, a little dark there as the storm moves on through. That's a separate thunderstorm that's moving uh, to the south of Hartford now. But the tornado warnings, we go back to uh, there. You can see actually if we go back to that live picture quickly if we can. I'm not sure how easily we can do that, but you can see there, there's that storm that's moving through New Britain and Farmington. I mm. was uh, just trying to get the iris right there on the camera lens and you can see uh, clouds a little bit lower, uh, but nothing that's really jumping out at me here is something that's that's unusually severe, but some gusty winds possible with that storm as it moves through. Let's go back to live first alert Doppler radar. We'll time it out for you here. Uh, stores right about now the, the possible tornado if it were to develop there is some rotation in the clouds right over stores right now it's moving through at this moment uh, heading toward Chaplin at six o'clock uh, Bedlam Corner at 558 uh, I'm not sure where Bedlam Corner is but hopefully no Bedlam in Bedlam Corner uh, Hampton at 608 <laughs> as the storm moves on through so let's go back now that we've got the storm over Yukon right now I want to get really really close here take a closer look at the storm so just crossing uh, so right along 32 and 44, uh, Brigham Tavern Road, uh, crossing 44. And then there's North Eagleville Road, just past the Yukon campus. There's Yukon, uh, then just moving west out of campus. Uh, so we've got that possible that rotation. I mean, the clouds are rotating. It's not possible rotation. There is rotation here. So we know that the clouds are spinning around up over Coventry and now into Mansfield along 44. And this is sort of drifting off to the southeast at about 25 or 30 miles per hour. So this is going to get very close uh, to Yukon. Uh, should cross right over campus. Um, and there you go. There's stores. Well There's North Eagleville Road. And so let's take a closer look here. There's a new little update here. There's Ryan, your rotation you right what, there. Yeah, what you do know, you have, Josh? 
emphasize again, we are still seeing a, a decent size rotation uh, from the Albany, right, uh, from the uh, OKX radar from uh, Upton, New York. It's out on Long Island. Uh, and you can see that here, uh, those red colors and blue colors uh, going against each other. So there's rotation being shown on really all of our radars. And, uh, you know, I can show you as we zoom things out here, uh, this is headed right towards and right over now the uh, Yukon campus. Uh, you can see it headed towards Mansfield along Route 195, uh, Dunham Pond Road into Eagleville and along Route 275. Um, and as we zoom out, you can see this tornado warning extends all the way into Wyndham County. So, uh, you know, it started out in Hartford County, went through Towland County, and then now into Wyndham County. Uh, one thing we will note if you're just joining us, we don't have any reports of a tornado actually on the ground. This is uh, indicated from what we're looking at on radar. So radar scanning around four to 5,000 feet up in the air, and we can see a good amount of rotation. The winds are rotating up there. Uh, is that rotation reaching the ground? Well, that's what we're trying to, to figure out. Uh, and that's what we're, uh, you know, going to be looking at. But that is why the tornado warning is in effect right now, because we're seeing all of that rotation at around five to 6,000 feet up in the atmosphere. Uh, so we can switch things over here. And yep, we're still seeing that rotation. Hey, hey Josh, yeah. take a look at the storm and let's go. Let's go back to the storm in Southington. OK, um, if we can, let's go to Max uh, C. There we go. Um, take a closer look at it. Um, let me go back here. Uh, that one does look like it is getting a little uh, better organized here. Um, and I think we've pro we probably do have some gusty winds and some hail coming through Southington. Uh, and there is some rotation here too. I mean, it's sort of broad, um, but there is a crossing 84 right now in Southington, just to the south of New Britain, along 71, back toward Kensington. Uh, you've got a pretty good storm here. And these storms, you know, no warning on this. Uh, sometimes you've, you've got, you know, our friends at the Weather Service are, are really focused on that tornado warned storm uh, out in northeastern Connecticut. And sometimes you can get these other storms sort of sneak up on you. But Southington, yeah, uh, no doubt about it. This is a good kind of storm moving on through. And I'm hearing a lot of thunder, some loud thunder and some real heavy rain. Uh, here at the station in West Hartford. I'm going to time this out for you, too. We want to make sure we're covering everyone here. Uh, if you are in Berlin, storm's right upon you right now. Uh, Cromwell around 610, Middletown at 612, uh, Higginham at 623, and East Hampton at 625. And also, Josh, I did find out one of our viewers tweeted me, Bedlam Corner is in Chaplin. So now we know ah. where Bedlam Corner is uh, up there in Wyndham County. So let's zoom back in here. Tornado warning continues. Tolland and Wyndham counties, possible tornado right now, right over stores. That's where the rotation is the strongest. Um, and yeah, still looking at, at some rotation here over stores, uh, right over Yukon. I mean, this, this is not, this is sort of a direct hit here. The good news is we have not had a ton of damage reports. The damage reports have been fairly sparse and fairly minor. But that's not to say that you can't get a tornado to touch down suddenly. The environment supports tornadoes today. If you were watching yesterday, we were talking about possible tornadoes. Um, and so, yeah, I've got some rotation over stores. Codfish Falls Road over toward Gurleyville Road, uh, Chaffeeville Road uh, in Mansfield. We've got that possible tornado. Uh, and a tornado, if it's not on the ground now, may develop at any minute. I don't have, uh, we don't have any reports of tornadoes that have touched down. But the radar has shown as we've gone through the afternoon, live first alert Doppler radar has shown plenty of signs of rotation from time to time. Sometimes it weakens, sometimes it tightens back up. And remember with radar, we're looking up at the clouds. We're not looking down near the ground. So we care about what's going on in the clouds because it can give us an idea of what's going to happen shortly thereafter at the surface. If the clouds are spinning around really fast, got a chance for that rotation to reach the ground. And so that's why tornado warnings are issued based on radar. Doesn't necessarily mean there's a tornado on the ground, but Certainly can't be ruled out. Let me uh, do this one more time here. I want to get the storm track on here for you. Right through Mansfield and Storrs, heading off to the east southeast. So we've got Mansfield right now. You've got that possible tornado overhead in Storrs. We're heading toward Atwoodville at 6 o'clock. Chaplin uh, around 6.04 and Hampton at 6.12. So Tolland County and Wyndham County next with the storm as it moves on through and we'll zoom back out and show you everyone and I'm going to put the radar into motion so you can get an idea of where these storms are moving and there's the line of storms pretty solid line of storms here stretching now from Wyndham County uh, near Pomfret all the way back over toward Southington and uh, Woolkit getting a good storm coming through and this is going to head toward Middletown shortly and we'll see how these develop 
Could have more warnings or severe thunderstorm warnings or tornado warnings issued throughout the evening. We've got a severe thunderstorm watching effect for all of Connecticut. A watch means severe thunderstorms are possible. A warning means something is imminent. So radar has detected it or we've got ground truth of some damage or a tornado. So far, no reports of a tornado, but one could form at any time. We do have reports of some fairly large hail that moved through Tolland County. Also getting some reports of some tree and power line damage as the storm moved through. We got a report just a little bit ago from Ellington of some pretty strong winds as the storm approached from the west. So I'm not sure if uh, we've got an update on the power outages, Josh. I do know we had about 500 outages. Up to about 2,000 now. Most of those outages in Vernon, uh, okay. just under 1,200 in Vernon and around 600 in Enfield. So those numbers are going up, uh, indication that there is damage occurring. And, and when we saw that sort of spike in the velocity, that was right over Vernon, uh, especially the Rockville section of Vernon. So if there was some wind damage, that's where it would be. If there was a tornado, I mean, it could have been in the same spot either. So it could be a quick tornado that touched down uh, or just some strong winds. But hey, as, I, as I like to say with storms like this, Josh, you know, wind yeah. is wind. It doesn't really matter how you get the wind. If the winds are 80 miles per hour, it doesn't matter if it's from a tornado or just, just wind. It can still knock down trees and power lines. So yeah, and hey, Ryan, take a look at this photo taken uh, taking from Emma uh, at Yukon and you can see how dark those clouds are. Uh, you can see, you know, the, how low those clouds are as well. Uh, just an indication of what's going on out in Tallinn County right now. Yeah, and when we're watching those storms come on through. I think the rotation has weakened nicely, uh, which I like to see uh, moving through Tallinn County now, but it can perk back up. Um, we've seen that happen a couple times. It seems like we're sort of uh, getting a nice uh, a break and then suddenly the rotation tightens back up and the tornado warning is extended. So right over Mansfield now heading down through Chaplin along Route 6 and Willimantic. We've got and, that tornado warning in effect. Yep. And Josh, Ryan, I, I do think we need to keep a, a close eye on the storm moving through Southington right now. Um, likely so, producing uh, possibly quarter sized hail associated with it. And we are seeing some stronger winds, even even some rotation kind of broad right now, as you mentioned before, Ryan. Uh, but we are seeing that rotation strengthen a little bit here. And Ryan has the uh, the latest on that storm. Yeah, so let, so I've got I've got it zoomed in here right over Southington. Um, and yeah, it almost looks like you got a little inflow notch here, Josh, uh, you know, right over. It looks like uh, toward Kensington. Uh, so that can be an area that you've got to watch for. Sometimes you can get a brief little spin up. And I there. did we reach out to the weather service on that. Just waiting to hear back on uh, if there'll be a warning on that. And yeah, some de some decent winds coming out of the north now in Southington. Um, one of the issues here is that the storm is actually moving perpendicular to the radar beam. Uh, so without you know, giving you a, a geometry lesson here, uh, I'm sure you want to avoid that. Uh, but sometimes <laughs> it, it can actually miss some of the winds. It can only detect winds that are blowing parallel to the radar beam and not perpendicular. So sometimes we miss some of the winds here. Uh, that's, you know, Live first alert Doppler radar is great, and that's the one drawback with Doppler radar, and it's all Doppler radar. Uh, it can only measure radial velocity as opposed to all velocity. But that's a good signal, though, uh, on 364 in Southington. And, yeah, you're right. I mean, right over Kensington here on 71, uh, there is some spin, some rotation right in the leading edge of this. Uh, but that's a good wind signature moving through Southington right now. I would be shocked if we didn't get some reports of some trees coming down. And this is sort of a budding right along um, uh, West Peak in Meriden. So th there's Hubbard Park in Meriden. You see where it sort of dips down, Southington does. That's uh, right along the park there. So 691 is down here. We're to the north of 691 on the Southington uh, Meriden line. And that's where you've got a pretty good storm coming on through. And the potential here, quarter sized hail and strong gusty winds, I think those would be your main threats with the storm as it moves on through. And yeah, you know, can't rule out some rotation, especially the winds are out of the south. Uh, Meriden's winds have been out of the south. Hartford's winds have been out of the south. And that tells me that in the lowest, you know, few hundred or few thousand feet of the atmosphere, there's a lot of spin. So just waiting to see if these storms tap into that. The one up in northeastern Connecticut is, and that's why we've got that tornado warning in effect. But there's the storm coming through Southington and Berlin. And I'll time it out for you before we get back to the storm up to the north and east. Let's zoom out here a little bit. We're moving off to the southeast at about, let's say, there you go. Oh, let me do this one more time here. There's the storm coming out of Middletown. We're talking about Middletown at 608. 
East Hampton at 621, Haddam 625, Moodis at 629, East Haddam 632, Colchester 639. Watch out for the storm. It's a decent storm coming on through, and I do think there is the risk here uh, for some damaging winds and some hail. The tornado threat right now is greatest in northeastern Connecticut, and that's why we have a tornado warning in effect for Tolland and Wyndham counties. Tornado warning goes until 615 this evening. And let's go back to, let's see if we have how the rotation looks here. Yeah, not, not much. Some strong winds, but I think that rotation signature has definitely weakened now from where it was a bit ago. But uh, it's right over Yukon. Yukon got a decent thunderstorm as it came, came on through, uh, heading over toward Chaplin. And this is the, the, the potential here where we did have that potential tornado. Hey, let's go back over. Let's go to the social media center. Josh has got a, a tweet from Anthony and stores. Yeah, Ryan. Check this out. You can see just how strong these winds are. Look at those trees uh, blowing around. I mean, we're definitely talking at least 40, 50 mile an hour wind gusts right there uh, as the rain's just whipped. It's why we're seeing some power outage issues. And then to talk about the other storm, we have this tweet from Courtney saying trees down and wires down in some areas of town. Bad lightning, heavy rains in the Plantsville yep. section of Southington. Yep, that, that's Southington, uh, Plantsville. So uh, near exit 31 there in Southington. Uh, not a surprise price based on that velocity signature we saw in Southington. That's why we were talking about there the potential for some trees and power lines to come down. It looks like that is exactly what happened. So uh, let's take a closer look here. Let's set the scene. I'm going to zoom things back out for all of Connecticut. I, we've got, a, I think, a low tornado threat here in Wyndham County. I'm not seeing much rotation anymore. Still, though, tornado warning in effect for Wyndham County and Tolland County until 6.15 this evening. And you're watching NBC Connecticut News at 6 as we cover these, this line of thunderstorms moving on through the state. We've been on since just before 5 o'clock watching the storms. We had a tornado warning that was issued up toward Bradley Airport, and that tornado warning uh, has continued to be extended. And there that is the tornado warning continues now from Willimantic on north. And there also is here uh, down through southern Hartford County. Uh, we've got a good line of storms and we don't have a warning on it now, but we do know it is producing damaging winds. So uh, if you are in Middletown or Meriden, you're next with this storm as it moves on through. And I think this storm may actually have the best chance of right now of producing strong damaging winds. And I'm going to time it out for you as it heads to the east southeast. Yeah, Meriden, right? Yeah, what do you got, Josh? Showing that I checked in with the weather service. Uh, they're saying uh, the rotation there is very broad. That's why they haven't went with a warning uh, yet. But of course, we are seeing some damage out there. So, yeah, uh, and you, you know, don't I'm, need, I'm guessing that could change. Yeah, you don't need the rotation to, to, to produce damaging winds. I mean, you've got right. this storm coming into Meriden now from Berlin. Uh, and just heading over the Berlin Turnpike, uh, the, the very southern part of the Berlin Turnpike, right where it becomes an expressway, where it sort of uh, cuts off uh, uh, into Meriden uh, near East Main Street. But yeah, I mean, you've got some good winds coming in here now. No doubt about that. And Middletown along 66, uh, up over Higby Mountain there, um, and soon to cross uh, over toward Middletown. I think you've got a good chance for some good winds here. Uh, so no severe thunderstorm warning in effect, but I, I like the, the look of that for some strong winds. So we've got the tornado warning for northeastern Connecticut and this line of thunderstorms moving on through put into motion for you. And there you can see the line of storms. The stuff near Waterbury is fairly weak out toward Danbury. But what you've got from Southington and Meriden on up through northeastern Connecticut is certainly a bit more impressive. And we'll zoom in a little bit closer here. We do have some reports of some strong winds and power outages up in stores as the storm moved on through. The rotation is fairly weak though, so I think you're probably looking at more of a damaging wind signature here uh, than you are a tornado, uh, but still you've got the potential for winds that are 50, 60 miles per hour with this storm as it moves on through. And actually you can act, it'll zoom in a little bit more here. I can show you moving through Mansfield into Ashford right now, uh, all, right along 89, those are some strong winds. Those are 40, 50, 60 mile an hour winds showing up here uh, coming from west to east. So you certainly have the potential here uh, for some strong winds coming out of Tolland County, coming into Chaplin right now along Route 198. That's something that we're going to have to watch as this storm moves east. So the tornado potential, I think, is quite low. I don't see anything now uh, looking at the radar uh, that jumps out at me as rotation. Sort of noisy. 
confirm yep. report. Uh, down trees, and I'm seeing some uh, photo evidence of this. Route 32 near the 44 junction in Mansfield. Yep. Okay. Um, and it, it looks like there was a good amount of damage there. If that's, of course, from that storm that hit around uh, five to ten minutes ago. And that was the one we were watching. So 32 and 44, right? In Correct. Mansfield? Okay, yep. so, so that's where you are. So that's by the depot campus at Stores. Uh, Depot Road, and then this up here, this is this is up toward Coventry. So right uh, where Coventry and Mansfield come together, just to the west of the Yukon campus. So not surprised uh, that we do have some reports of damage here uh, from strong winds. Could it have been a tornado? Sure, it could have been. We had a tornado warning in effect. There were some signs of rotation. That rotation signature has weakened as the storm has moved to the east, but I still see the potential for some strong winds. So what should you do if you're in the path of this storm? Tornado safety tips for you. Move to a basement, small interior room. Stay away from windows. Uh, cover your object. Uh, cover your head with a sturdy object, and turn off the TV volume. We'll let you know when the storm has passed, when the the safety risk has moved on past your area. So uh, that's what we're here to do. We're here to keep you safe, and that's why we're on the air with the continuing coverage for this tornado warning. Uh, this is now our, our third day of tornado coverage here in Connecticut this year. If you remember back in April, we had a tornado warning for Tolland County, and then uh, a couple weeks ago we had a couple tornado warnings for a storm that started in Glastonbury and Weathersfield and moved east. So the same area started getting hit quite a bit this year a couple of these tornado warnings and this is the worst of the weather from Mansfield up through Chaplin now uh, down through Willimantic. Uh, Willimantic should miss this. Uh, you're under the tornado warning in Willimantic in Scotland along Route 14 uh, but Route 6 up toward North Windham in the Windham Airport up through Chaplin. Uh, you're next with this storm as it moves on through the potential here for certainly some gusty winds along Route 198 South Bear Hill Road Atwoodville Road, some strong gusty winds moving in. Uh, Pumpkin Hill Road as well in Chaplin. I think we've got the potential for some strong winds to move on through uh, pretty quickly there. Uh, let's take a look. We actually have a new severe thunderstorm warning. Not a surprise by this for portions of New Haven County. And zoom things out and show you that. So, yeah, this is the storm we're watching with a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for um, Middlesex County. Um, you can see... Cromwell, Middletown, Middlefield uh, next uh, at risk uh, for this storm as it moves on through. Um, and I think the threat for this one uh, is probably, at least right now, not a tornado, but that could change. We're going to have to watch this closely. So some strong damaging winds, certainly a possibility with this storm as it moves on through. So I'm going to time it out for you. And Josh, I just retweeted Rob and Stores yeah. uh, has some uh, pretty impressive damage in stores. So if you want to, if we can turn that one around for you, uh, show that on air. Uh, there's the storm coming on through Middletown now. We're talking about Middletown right about now. Get ready for the storm. Uh, there's the center of Middletown right there. Uh, the worst of the storm moving through right now. New severe thunderstorm warning in effect for parts of Meriden, Middlefield, uh, Middletown over toward East Hampton and then over back into Colchester. This is the severe thunderstorm warning we're watching. And let's zoom things back out here a little bit more. There's a severe thunderstorm warning for this storm. It's heading through Meriden now. We do have some reports that there has been some damage up in Southington. Uh, some trees and some power lines came down. And that's the same storm that's now moving into Middletown. Uh, tornado warning up to the north. I don't see much rotation still with this. Let's take a closer look here. I'll zoom in for you and take a look at the storm one more time uh, just to see if this has changed. So we, we had gone, I'd say, a good 15 minutes without seeing much concerning rotation, and I still don't see any right now. I do see some strong winds, uh, maybe 50, 60 miles per hour moving into Hampton, uh, but I don't see signs of a tornado. Uh, Josh, uh, let's take a look at what you've got, some damage reports coming in from Tolland County. Yeah, so we have uh, this image from Joey in Rockville. Uh, says did not missed out on the hail, uh, but did see the wind damage associated with this. You can see that large tree right across the road. And... Uh, well, we'll see. There you go. You can see that, that tree right across the road there. Uh, we also have this from Ron, and you can see down trees and power lines on Plains Road in Mansfield. And Ryan, um, scouring through social media, we saw several photos of j damage in Mansfield. Uh, so, you know, and that is one of those areas where we're seeing a lot of that rotation. Uh, was the damage caused by a tornado? Probably not, but uh, definitely an area that's uh, possibly some straight line wind damage associated with that. So, uh, and also just uh, just got a report sure. of some uh, hail to the size of a quarter in Willington. So, okay, a bunch of uh, a quarter size hail reports coming out 
uh, from the storm as it moved on through uh, northeastern. And, and that's the, kind of the threshold of what could cause damage is anything at quarter size or greater uh, can certainly cause damage out there. So, you know, while the wind aspect is a big aspect of it, obviously the, the hail is as well. Um, let's go right over to live first alert Doppler radar here. I want to give you an update on this storm and show you exactly what we're looking at. We're starting to see this line of storms now propagate into Wyndham County. You can see it's already moved through the Chaplin area. It's headed towards Hampton um, and really headed uh, over that route, route 32 section. Willimannock getting in on this. Wyndham headed towards Scotland and along route 203 and uh, also route 14. So we can give you a track on this. I do want to show you uh, some of those brighter green colors representing where the winds are the strongest. Uh, and you can see that just to the north of Chaplin along, along Route 198. One thing that we're not seeing right now is much in the way of rotation. So that's certainly some good news. Uh, but we still are seeing some strong winds associated with this. We're, we still do have a tornado warning in effect. Um, and that remains in effect. Uh, is that 615, Ryan? Yep, 615. Six. Um, and also just got a report of a dime-sized hail in Berlin. Okay. Uh, from this, that storm to the south. So that severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, storm. Right. And uh, let me give you an, uh, a track on this storm. Now that it's kind of extended out, we can show you uh, where it's headed over the next 15 to 20 minutes or so. So it's moving into Willimannock right now at 609, 614 into Wyndham, Brooklyn around 617, Scotland 619, uh, Westminster uh, 622, Warrigan section of Plainfield around 626, Canterbury around 627, Central Village 629, and closer to 632 into Moosup. Uh, so that's the one storm we're monitoring. And then we're also monitoring this severe thunderstorm moving into Middletown. And uh, Ryan, it does look like there's some strong winds associated with this. Yeah, I think uh, so. so. It's probably a matter of time before we start to see some damage reports. Yeah, let's take, let's take a look. We've got some live pictures uh, from that storm uh, as it moves on through, I believe, in the Hartford area. Where is this? Uh, this is East Hartford. You can see uh, on Route 2, traffic moving a little slow on Route 2. Not a surprise. Traffic is always brutal on Route 2 uh, at 610 in the afternoon. And guys, if we could check out uh, on Route 9, uh, let's uh, try to uh, get the Aragoni Bridge camera up. And we uh, also have good images from River. Uh, Matt Austin as well, um, if, we can, if we can show those. Okay, yeah, if we can get Matt Austin shot up, uh, shot, uh, shot up as well. I know he has uh, stumbled across a little bit of damage that has developed. Uh, in the meantime, though, while we're getting those uh, ready, for, uh, and there's Matt Austin's uh, live shot, um, and you can see there a tree across the road, uh, not a surprise. Is he in Rockville? Vernon, yes, he's in Rockville in Vernon. Uh, and you can see some tree damage there. So once you start getting winds over 40 or 50 miles per hour, you can start taking down some trees and power lines, and that's the scene there. Uh, and just a good reminder, uh, when you get weather like this, don't venture outside after the storm. You never know if those lines are still energized. Notice Matt and his photographer are quite a distance away, uh, staying away from that. Uh, but it looks like that car, that black car there, uh, uh, right in front of the white one, uh, in rough shape with that tree uh, right on top of it with some of those wires down as well. All right, let's go back to live first alert Doppler radar. We'll track the storms. We've got a couple that we're watching now. Uh, we've got two. So we've got this one in northeastern Connecticut with a tornado warning here uh, that continues for Chaplin uh, and Hampton and Wyndham, but I don't see any rotation anymore. So this warning is going to expire in a few minutes. So that's good news. The tornado threat has come to an end, but there has been some damage through Tolland County as the storm moved on through. There was also some hail. We also have this storm now in the Middletown area that stretches back toward Meriden, and these storms are decent. I mean, these storms are not anything to sneeze at. They have certainly strengthened some, and we do know that there have been some reports of some damage and even some hail. We had dime-sized hail in Berlin uh, as the storm moved on through, and we also uh, have a report uh, of some trees and power lines that came down in Southington uh, over toward the Plantsville section of town. So this is the line of storms to the south. Severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Meriden and out through most of Middlesex and New London counties. Durham at 620, Higginham 622, Haddam at 630, Little City at 635, East Haddam at 639, and Salem at 646. Uh, Josh, I just heard that in the background there. I imagine that's the Weather Service saying the warning is going to expire. Or, well, no, new severe thunderstorm warning here. No, that was me asking them a question, and I should have said gotcha. something other than tornado. No, it's, it's, it's good. The, the noise. It's the, uh, so we're trying to get an update if they are going to let this expire at 615. And I'm guessing they will because we've got this new severe thunderstorm warning through southern 
Wyndham County. So as the storm moves to the east, it's been now a good 20, 25 minutes since I've seen rotation. So I think we're transitioning over to just some strong gusty winds. But, you know, winds can still take down trees and power lines no matter which direction they're blowing. They can be blowing in a circle or blowing in one direction. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. Can still cause damage. But this is the timing for the storms moving on through. Let's head over to Middletown now. And Middletown getting rocked. Uh, that's the view there uh, just to the south of the Aragoni Bridge. So if you look on the right there, uh, there's uh, the Canoe Club, I believe it's called now. Um, uh, right along the Connecticut River and they're getting some good winds coming in on Route 9. No doubt about that. Uh, those winds uh, gusting and sometimes uh, the winds can pick up pretty quickly. It doesn't take much to start taking down some trees and power lines in Connecticut. We've got a lot of trees. Everyone loves the tree in their front yard. Um, and sometimes when you start talking about winds 30, 40, 50 miles per hour, when the trees are fully leafed, they can come down pretty quickly. So I wouldn't be surprised if in the Middletown area we at least get some isolated power outage reports. But that's Middletown now as the storm moves on through. Let's go back to live first alert Doppler radar. I'll show you just where we were in Middletown and uh, head back over. Uh, to that storm to the south. The tornado warning here is going to expire in, in mere seconds. So we've got two storms that are severe, producing gusty winds and a little bit of hail. But there's that storm in Middletown moving on through, just crossing the Connecticut River. So we were looking uh, right, the camera was right about there, looking to the north. So the worst of the wind is actually down to the south. It's heading out, out toward uh, uh, the northern part uh, of Haddam there, to the southern part of Middletown, over toward Pratt, right along uh, the river near the power plant there. That's where the worst of the wet weather is, right along the Connecticut River. So there you go, just to the north of Higginham. That's where the worst of the weather is going to be moving in. This is going to cross the river shortly, head toward Route 151 in East Haddam. What are the threats with this storm? Well, right now we're not talking about a tornado, so that's great. But we are talking about some strong gusty winds, certainly a possibility with this storm as it moves on through. Although I do have some rotation here uh, that's worth watching uh, moving along just to the south of 155 here um, in Middletown. A little bit of rotation just sort of showing up for me here uh, right along Millbrook Road. Uh, and Route 17 to the south of Middletown. Uh, Josh, what do you have? They are going to let that warning expire, Ryan. Um, and I also do have some new images uh, in from the social media center. So, uh, all right, Josh, yeah, let me show you this first one. You can see storm damage on High Street. Uh, this was tweeted by. Don't have the, you up quite yet. Yeah. We're trying to get that social media center up, but uh, yeah, there you go. Yes, yeah, so what we're looking at here is some storm damage on High Street, uh, tweeted from uh, the Vernon Police Department. So you can see a little bit of tree damage there. And then Kevin up in Towland, uh, one of our uh, weather observers, says was a great one. That's because he's a big weather fanatic. Um, and what he means by that is the storm was pretty strong. Take a look at the winds right by his house. You can see tree limbs being uh, thrown around here. Here. I'm guessing winds probably over 50 miles per hour associated with this. And this was in Tolland at one of the uh, highest elevations in Tolland. Uh, that's where he lives up there. I also want to show you this image tweeted into us by Robert Stevenson. And it's showing us trees down in Enfield. Uh, you can see the tree down right next to that house. Uh, where is he? And from the from my from what we're looking at, it doesn't look like there was any damage to the house. So hopefully that was the case, but you can see some big tree limbs down uh, in Enfield as well, Ryan. Yeah, and that's the same storm that moved all the way from the Massachusetts border down through portions of now Wyndham County. Uh, NBC Connecticut's Matt Austin is live in uh, Vernon uh, now. I believe he's in the Rockville section of Vernon, just to the north of 84, uh, with more on some of that damage that they've seen there. Matt? Yeah, Ryan, Josh, it seems like this area, the Rockville section, has taken a pretty good hit from the fast-moving storm. As I step out of the way, my photographer, Nick, is going to zoom down Prospect Street, and you can see that a pretty healthy branch has come down across the entire street. Police have asked us to stay this far back because it's also really done a number on the power lines there. Might have also done some damage to the cars over there. Hard to tell from this distance. The good news is we have not heard of anyone being hurt, at least in this location. Just driving around this section of Vernon in the Rockville area, there are quite a few power outages. Lights are down in in this, this section of town, so be careful if you are traveling out there. And was just looking at the numbers for Eversource, 2,600 across the state that are without power right now. A good chunk of that, 1,200 right here in Vernon. 
people were describing to me really a strong, a powerful storm that just blasted through this area. At least one neighbor describing what he thought appeared to be a little uh, motion, a little twisting motion in the skies above. Again, we have not you know, gotten any uh, confirmation of exactly what struck this area, but hard. To, uh, but at least you can say it was uh, obviously some very strong winds that moved through this area. The officer was telling me just real briefly that there are quite a few uh, trees and branches down in this area. A lot of folks now just coming out of their homes to see what is going on. Ryan, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Matt. So the strong gusty winds, one of the issues with the storm as it moved on through. And check this out. This was the storm in from Willington. Claire sent this, and you can see it's slow-mo video. Those are some good chunks of hail uh, that are bouncing off the gutters uh, and the uh, roof there. Claire said she took this video uh, right before she uh, sought shelter. Uh, and, and I would suggest in the future to seek shelter first. Uh, we love the video, but it's not worth it when you've got a tornado warning because when the hail's on top of you, the tornado is probably close by as well. Thankfully, we don't have any reports of any tornadoes that have touched down uh, in the state, but we do know there has been some wind damage, and that wind damage threat is continuing now through portions of Middlesex County. Let's take a look, if we can, uh, live outside on Route 9 in Cromwell, uh, heading, uh, heading toward Middletown, and you can see uh, we've got quite a bit of rain coming down now, and we're heading south, so we're heading south toward Middletown, um, and that's where some of the, the worst weather is right now, moving through Middletown, uh, heading down through portions of Haddam and East Haddam. Uh, I still am seeing some signals here that we've got some pretty good winds, um, and these winds certainly strong enough to take down uh, some trees and power lines uh, right over uh, portions of uh, right on that uh, Middletown Haddam line, it looks like. Let's go back to live first alert off the radar, and we'll show you what we've got going on in Middletown. So this is Route 9. Uh, our live and drive crew was just to the north. They were on Route 9 in Cromwell, so they're going to intersect uh, this storm as it comes to the south. Uh, but certainly I'm still looking at the potential here for some strong winds coming down through Haddam. The worst of the wind is going to be right on the leading edge of this storm. A lot of times once you get into the storm, the winds start to come down a little bit, but it's that first gust as the storm develops uh, that, that can contain the strongest winds. And there is some weak rotation here. Um, it's nothing that's, that's overly alarming, uh, but there is a little bit of spin. Um, and sometimes, you know, probably not enough to produce a tornado. If there was, there'd be a tornado warning. There's not. But sometimes that can just be enough to sort of enhance the wind potential. So we'll have to watch that as the storm moves south out of Middletown. I'm heading into Higginum shortly, uh, about two minutes away from Higginum at 621. Haddam 626, East Haddam. Uh, coming up on 632, Chester at 636, Deep River at 639, and then back toward Lyme at 646. So this is the line of thunderstorms we're watching for the northern part of uh, Middlesex County and also now going to clip western New London County. And let's take a closer look back here off to the north and to the east if we can. I'm going to have to do this a second time here. Uh, I want to show you this other storm. We have two severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. What does that mean? Severe thunderstorm warning means you've got some strong winds and the potential for hail uh, moving into your town. And this line uh, is producing those strong winds. And this line has produced quite a bit of wind damage uh, back through, actually at least a long uh, track of wind damage with trees and power lines that have come down from Enfield over into Vernon and Rockville into Mansfield and stores and also that hail we saw in Willington and I, I have a little bit of wind showing up here um, not not a ton though I mean nothing that's really jumping out at me here uh, in terms of a wind signature I'll zoom in a little closer. The most outages are in Vernon right now, Ryan, just over 1,200 there. So uh, We still have about 2,000 statewide from Eversource? Around 2,700, so just right. shy of three. So that's, you know, to put that in some perspective for you, on May 15th last year, we had over 100,000 outages from that, that really vicious line of storms. The, the damage here seems to be uh, much more spotty and patchy. Winds probably were on the order of 40 or 50 miles per hour uh, with some of these storms as they moved on through. Um, and Josh, uh, I'm curious to know, have you seen any of these storms in southern Connecticut, now New Haven or, or Middlesex County, any updrafts that have sort of perked up at all? Or You know, not much. Uh, of course, we still are seeing those stronger winds, um, but there isn't really much of an indication uh, that the storm is intensifying. So good. that's certainly some good we'll news. Let's keep it that way here. All right, so the worst of the weather now in Higginum, uh, along Route 9, uh, not too far from uh, HK, from the high school here um, in Higginum, just to the west of Route 9. And soon you're going to be crossing over into Haddam, um, and it looks like this leading edge here could certainly be producing uh, some strong gusty winds, I'd say 30, 40 miles per hour, maybe a bit more than that, maybe 50 miles per hour. And if you live or you, if you've driven through parts of Haddam or East Haddam, you know it doesn't take much at all 
uh, you know, a little tiny gust is enough to take down some trees and power lines there. It's just so wooded down here in this part of the state. Uh, and some really dense forests. Uh, so you have the potential for some damaging wind here and some power outages. Uh, now moving out of East Hampton, heading toward Middle Haddam, uh, over toward Moodus. You're next in Moodus, uh, same story in Haddam, and then eventually uh, toward the good speed uh, and crossing the swing bridge there into East Haddam. Uh, pretty good storm just a few minutes away. If you're looking to the north right now, I'm sure our friend E-Weather, if he's in town, is going to get a, an incredible picture of this storm as it comes down the Connecticut River from the north. And also farther off to the west, we have this line of thunderstorms. No warning on it now, but moving through portions of New Haven County. I've got a pretty good line of storms here. Uh, there you go from Meriden back on through Prospect and Cheshire. Uh, this storm, I'll time this one out for you. Get this line here from uh, just south of Naugatuck through Wallingford. I think this probably gets down to the shoreline over toward Brantford and Guilford. Uh, had, uh, Hamden at 630, North Haven 632, Woodbridge 633, uh, North Guilford 640, New Haven at 642. North Brantford 644, Killingworth 648, and East Haven at 649. If you're out ahead of this line of storms, expect some lightning, some strong gusty winds, and some heavy rain as well. All right, let's go uh, take a look outside from this video we had from Willington of some hail that came down earlier. This is from Merrill in Willington. Uh, yeah, you can absolutely see some hail, hail there bouncing off the deck. Indicates to me the st storm is strong enough uh, to produce uh, so, some pretty uh, uh, decent yep, hailstones for northeastern Connecticut. Um, that was the storm as it moved through Wellington. Just to the south of there, uh, it does look like there was enough uh, uh, wind on the back side of the storm and on the southern part of the storm to produce some damage with some trees and some power lines uh, that have come down. And Josh, I'm going to have you show some of those pictures that you got and some of that damage uh, from the social media center shortly, if you can. And, uh, yeah, what do you have, Josh? And Ryan, just to give you an update, uh, UConn did tweet out uh, saying what we've been saying, the tornado war warning is over, so they've lifted that alert on the UConn campus. So certainly some good news there. That is. All right, so while you get set up here, let me just give you an overview here. There's this line of thunderstorms stretching from Wyndham County back through the Naugatuck Valley. And this line of storms is coming to the south. The threat for tornadoes, at least for now, has come down quite a bit, which is great news. Uh, we don't want to see any more tornado warnings today. I do think there is still the threat for some strong gusty winds as the storms come from north to south. And actually, we can get our New Haven camera as well looking to the north. I do want to check out how this line of storms looks as it comes on in. So, yeah, you can see. So if you look there uh, over uh, to the left-hand side, that's Woolsey Hall at Yale. To the north, that's the biology building, the tall one, the brownish shading one, and off to the north, that's that line of storms. Almost, I can see, if you actually punch me up here at the wall uh, over the camera, I can sort of illustrate what we're talking about here. Uh, I do think that in the distance, I can see a bit of a shelf cloud uh, with that storm that uh, comes to the south. And so when you've got that shelf cloud, that sort of is a good indication. You've got some strong gusty winds on the leading edge coming south. Uh, so Josh is at the social media center, and Josh, we've got a number of reports from our viewers that have come in uh, who have sent us reports. You can do it if you see something in your neighborhood that's worth sharing. Hashtag NBCCT or email us weather at NBCConnecticut.com. Josh, uh, let's take a look at so what you've gotten so far. Of where the where the go through these photos of where the storm entered Connecticut. I will start out with this tweet from Darren Sweeney. Uh, he's heading to a weather conference, and earlier he sent this out, and he was on a plane. That's when the tornado warning was issued, um, up into that direction, and you can see the clouds uh, pretty dark up there. Of course, not much in the way of damage reported in Windsor Lock, so that's certainly some good news. But we did have damage in Enfield. You can see these trees down here in Enfield, uh, showing us that there's some tree damage. We also have trees and wires down in Mansfield. You can see numerous tree limbs down here uh, along Plains Road in Mansfield. I also want to show you this. This was tweeted at us from Joey, and he is in Rocksville. Said missed the hail, but the tree damage. Uh, you can see it here along this road in Rockville as that tree is right across the road, and that was all associated with some wind damage there. Uh, we also have a report from the Vernon Police Department. Storm damage on High Street, as you can see that photo and check out this cloud formation here as the storms are heading towards Durham. A uh, pretty remarkable uh, cloud formation there as you can see that shelf cloud moving across. And I also want to show you this. Kevin in Tallinn says was a great one. That's because he's a, a big weather fanatic uh, and, and loves these kind of storms. But of course, we don't want to see it cause damage. Uh, and you can see the wind is ferocious with this storm as tree limbs are coming down. We're talking about heavy rain. 
and Ryan just some really yeah. gusty wins. And, and it, it looked like this. he it looked like he had some of that uh, hail too. Uh, besides the wind, he had hail that was about the size of a quarter. And I want to uh, put this photo up if we can. If we can go back to the social media center, I want to show this one more time. Isn't that here. awesome? <laughs> yeah. So so this is the storm. You know, I was saying from our New Haven camera, it looked like we had a shelf cloud trying to develop, and that is the shelf cloud. So this is in Durham. This is from Lindsay Morgan. Uh, she sent in this picture, um, and that that shows us we've got sort of this uh, almost looks like a UFO or a spaceship up in the cloud. It's sort of rounded. It has these uh, beautiful striations on it. And a lot of times what that means is you've got a line of storms coming in and you've got the potential for some strong gusty winds as the shelf cloud arrives. And there you can see in New Haven, there's that shelf cloud. So this is another way of looking at it. So Lindsay was in Durham showing us this cloud. And now we're looking from New Haven up to the north, up toward Hampton. And you can see there's that line, that line of demarcation. That is where the storm's coming in. Let's go back to live first alert Doppler radar. We are going to wrap this up shortly and get you to NBC Nightly News. But I do want to show you this line of thunderstorms. We had a number of tornado warnings that were in effect today. We had tornado warnings that started just before 5 o'clock. They expired at 615. I think the tornado threat is low now, uh, but we'll be watching things closely for you. And this line of thunderstorms, New Haven and the shoreline, you're next with these storms as they move on through. The storms have the potential to produce some strong gusty winds, maybe even some damaging winds as well. And I'll put a storm track on it for the shoreline as these storms approach from the west. Uh, the storms are going to be moving in at about 30 miles per hour heading down toward the coast. So Branford, Guilford, Madison, the storms will be moving in shortly. Let's get the times for you. North Haven at 628 right about now. Chester at 636. North Branford 642. Podunk and Guilford at 645, Essex 647, Old Saybrook at 658, Groton at 702, and heading toward Groton Long Point around 709. So these are the storms that we're watching moving on through. I think the potential with these storms over the next couple hours is going to be strong gusty winds, maybe a little bit of hail, but the storms should, once they uh, head to the south, be over. Once we get this line of storms through, I don't think we get much more behind it. And we actually clear things out for tomorrow, which is going to be a nice break. So, uh, Mike, uh, just to wrap things up, uh, some reports of damage so yep. far. It does not look like we had a tornado touchdown, but there were some indications that that may happen. So, thankfully, so far, so good, although some neighborhoods have quite a bit to clean up. So, you, Josh, the app, keeping everybody safe, down yep. trees, power line, hail. If you are safe and you have some pictures, send them in to us. We'd like to show more throughout the night. Glad everything did not transpire into something awful today. Yeah. You know, glad thing we missed the tornado potential, uh, but there's still some good storms heading toward the shoreline. So uh, you know, heed the warning as yep. the storms move down to the sound. And keep it here on NBC Nightly News. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. And if the weather warrants it, Nightly News coming up next.